We're back. We was talking about the uh, two. You interviewed President Two. Yeah. And you took several risks in that interview because you kept you asked him several things that were highly sensitive. You confirmed all rumors about him, like that he has Swiss bank accounts and wonderful uh, exotic houses in all parts of the globe that he can retire to, and that he's corrupt and all of those things. That you know, it's funny. You know why you weren't uh, booted out? I was much nicer with Dr. Kissinger than I was with uh, President Yu. Uh, it was a very brutal interview uh, in the sense, uh, I mean, I did not save anything that uh, I wanted to ask him, included the fact, uh, what about the fact that you have the reputation to be the most corrupted man in Vietnam? Mm -hmm. uh, are you afraid to be assassinated like President Diem? Are you ready to go to exile? What about the fact that you are considered a dictator of South Vietnam? And a funny, funny thing happened. You know, anybody who has read my book about Vietnam or anybody who has read my reportage from Vietnam knows what I, I think about this war and how much I've been opposing it. And uh, it also knows that, he also knows that uh, I was always very hard with you that uh, he's not my blueprints. However, it's very funny what happened, that uh, while talking with this man, well recalling that the man is a man of many faults, that uh, the prisons of South Vietnam are full of Viet Cong suspected Viet Cong and prisoners, uh, that he represents what I hate, I ended with feeling towards him a certain human sympathy, which I never felt for Dr. Kissinger. And uh, the reason is the following one. You know, everybody in these last days have been asking to me with surprise, you are not that tough in the end with uh, President Chiu. And I said, it's true. Uh, why, they say. And I say, well, superficially I could answer that uh, he was so small and so alone and so lost uh, and so thirsty to be understood, but that can be said, I guess, of any dictator in his last days. The real reason is that President Yu, as he appeared to me on Saturday the, uh, the 30th of December, was a symbol of a small country or should I say all these small countries, crushed and used and humiliated by the world interest of the great powers and by the global strategies of the various doctors Kissingers of the present and of the past. <laughs> and, uh, and therefore, there was a certain dignity in the man and in his tragedy and uh, since it is always beautiful to rescue a man and the dignity of a man, I like it to treat him with respect and with comprehension and much more for sure than the one I feel for President Nixon or Dr. Kissinger. That's interesting. But this, I take it, surprised you. I mean, you, you didn't go into the interview expecting that. Well, you that. see, what he you says, when, the other way what he says uh, it's, it's very clear. I mean, uh, when I speak of the global uh, strategies and the world interest of the various Dr. Kissingers and President Nixons, etc., I mean, you don't go to someone and say, communists are bad, you must fight them, you must kill them. And so they go on and they fight and they kill them. And in the middle of this, all at once you come because it is in your interest to make peace with China and Russia. And you say, why are you fighting the communists? Why are you killing the communists? You must make peace with them. I mean, it's kind of making fun of people. Uh, I thought of many things during that morning with you, yeah. San Domingo and so on. <laughs> and, uh, do, do people constantly claim they haven't said the things they said to you? And, uh, in your interviews, oh, since no, you are so... Oh, no, they never can, probe. because I use a tape recorder, and the tapes but, but are happens, there, doesn't it? and they are disposal. No, it, ne it, has, it never happened. Has it? No, no, ever, ever, ever. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, yeah, Jeho cannot, foolish, Kissinger can't, Indira Gandhi can't, Golda Meir can't, uh, King Hussein can't, I mean, all yeah. of the chief of states I've interviewed. 
It's, uh, it's very clear what I'm doing. The tape is there. I push the button and says, may I go on? May I start? And they say, go on. Okay. <laughs> Tew, in the interview, denied the thing about you have great wealth stored all over the world that you confronted him with, but uh, somebody said that he may have been telling the truth there, that he doesn't have it, but his wife may have it. You know, he was very, he had tears in his eyes when I accused him of that. And he kept swearing on the head of his children, and he seemed very sincere. He made the least of the things that he possesses in Vietnam, South Vietnam, which is not much. But you know that in, I don't want to be nasty with him, because I, I repeat, I've taken a position, I, I want to treat him with respect and comprehension. I hope that tomorrow and after tomorrow, I will do the same if he behaves in another way. And uh, I, I will not. Is it possible uh, you were taken in? In, in Vietnam, it's it, the it women who keep the wealth. You yeah. know, it's the wife yeah, who keeps the bank account. Yeah. But I put the question three times to him. And there were other things that I wanted to ask him, so I could not go on about the story of the corruption. Anyhow, uh, besides, he could have answered to me uh, if I told him, but uh, President Cheo, everybody knows that in Vietnam is the woman, is the wife that uh, takes the money, keeps the money. He could have answered it to me that uh, his wife was rich already when he married mm. her, so I would have got involved in mm. something. I was not really interested in that. Is there I any chance he deceived you and you could find out that it was, it was all untrue? No, well, I would like to see Tio uh, more happily for other reasons. I would like to see that all the prisoners who are in South Vietnam are really liberated, and I would like to see that he keeps his word when he says that he's ready to deal with the National Liberation Front and is ready to accept the Viet Cong as a political party in South Vietnam. And of course, we'll find the answers to all that. Uh, take a message. We must be right. We'll be right back. Later.